Good morning, everybody. My name is EQ, and welcome to Stonkaholics. So today we're going to be going over Badger Dow. This is a DeFi, and their whole thing is bringing Bitcoin to DeFi. It's a yield farming, yield aggregator site. It's also a DAO, so it's a decentralized autonomous organization, which we'll get into a little bit later. It's currently sitting at $7.50 a coin at a market cap of 73.8 million, so very low market cap. Circulating supply of 9.8 million, almost 10 million. That's 47% of their supply, which is 21 million. That is mirroring Bitcoin's total supply. It is a finite token as well. A huge value for them is bringing Bitcoin and smart contracts together. They just got audited for their smart contracts. Everything looks good. So let's get into what Badger Doubt is. So you can deposit, it's essentially going to be a synthetic Bitcoin. You can deposit tokenized Bitcoin and set to generate additional yields with automated strategies. And it's an elastic supply of cryptocurrency. It's pegged to the price of Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin goes up, Badger goes up. And Bitcoin goes down, so does Badger. Their website is nice, clean, and simple. Discord, Telegram, all that fun stuff for you guys to check out. It is open source, so everything is available on GitHub. Now they use a 10 day rolling period in order to gauge the volatility of Bitcoin and the direction where price is moving so it can be used to hedge against the known increase or decrease in Bitcoin price. So dig supply is distributed on a 10 day rolling period that's based on the direction Bitcoin price is moving so it can be used to hedge against a known increase or decrease in Bitcoin price. And dig doesn't try to be stable, it's always working to peg against the current value of Bitcoin. Its price is intended to mimic BTC. So it has an elastic supply, the supply is adjusted based on demand to reflect the pegged price of Bitcoin. If the price is above the US dollar value of Bitcoin that day, the rebase is positive and balance increases. If the price is below, the rebase is negative and balance decreases. It means that DIG is non-dilutive like Bitcoin. If you own 1% of the overall network, you will always own 1% unless you actively make a transfer. And then the process repeats itself every day and is built into the DIG protocol, making its rules transparent and equal for everyone. And when DIG launch its tokens through a liquidity mining event, and then after that, 15% of the supply will be airdrops to the badge users and the remaining 40% is going to be distributed to the DAO for community to decide what to do with it. Burn it! I don't like that they don't show their team but at least they have their full audit. So here's a smart contract audit report. This was created in 2020. So this is how Badger was able to get their major listings once they got their Hi-Chi audit and this proved that everything was safe so you can see critical major minor and tips based on the classifications and scoring of the audit and they only got miners and tips, everything was fixed. So everything looks good on this backside of Badger Dow. And here's the liquidity pools and swaps and all of that cool stuff where you can get your dig, all sorts of BTC wraps, and they have some nice APYs and APRs on here. This connects with your MetaMask, Coinbase, Ledger, and Wallet Connect. There's also more on this list. Multiple options to connect. You can choose Ethereum or BSC. I'll probably add a little Bitcoin to here and make another video about it in the next coming weeks. Let's get into some bullish sentiment before we get to the charts and we can go in chronological order. So on March 3rd, you can see that Badger Dow received 21 million in treasury diversification from a VC partner. Now then you get to April 8th. Now you have Badger Dow integrates with institutional DeFi gateway fire blocks. Now on April 26th, that's when they announced the launch of the BTC to Ethereum Badger Bridge. So this is a Bitcoin to Ethereum bridge that allows Bitcoin holders to bring their Bitcoin to Ethereum and deposit it into yield bearing vaults. That's the first of its kind to enable users to earn yield on their tokenized Bitcoin immediately while all transacting within the same app. And to wrap it all up, Index Coop is going to include Badger DAO in their DPI DeFi index. Now they're going to be showing up in August. The DPI is a market cap weighted index spanning the top 10 most popular Ethereum based DeFi tokens listed on decentralized finance data aggregator DeFi Pulse. Because this thing just got a bridge to Ethereum, now it's going to be considered an Ethereum partner. And now they're going to be on the top 10 DeFi Ethereum list, which is huge. This thing is, doesn't even have a $100 million market cap and it's in the top 10 projects. Now there's a ton of huge names on this list. Ave, Uni, Maker, Comp. We talk about these all the time. These are huge in the DeFi community. You have Sushi, Wi-Fi, SNX. They even have Ren on here, Farm, Cream. 
So don't sleep on Badger Dow, and I'll show you why you don't want to sleep on it, especially now. So we've essentially been sitting in a giant descending triangle since this thing came out. When it was released on January 12th, we're sitting around $6 a token, and that immediately exploded up to almost 90 up to over $90, a little less than a month. So you had over 10 times move in less than a month. And as the market started to crash, this started to come down continuously as well. Now what's important to see here is that we are potentially finding the floor. So if we do get a positive support hold in this area, this is a bullish sign to move up since we were able to break out of this descending triangle and stay over the support hold without price pushing us down and breaking into a free fall. But now keep in mind that if it does not hold a support here, you are falling into a free fall with no support hold. That's a dangerous move. Anyone that's in, that was an ICP knows the struggle with that. I felt for that shit too. I was in super hype about ICP. I tried to buy in after it got listed on everything, thought I got in on a good price, bought in with no floor right when the market crashed. So keep that in mind with projects like this, you definitely want to get some sort of confirmation that we're going up before you actually buy in. But with all that said and done to test all time high, you're looking at more than a 10 times move. And with that 10 times move, you're not even going to be at a $1 billion market cap yet. So even from a $1 billion market cap, if this project did want to hold and did really well and Bitcoin continue to go up to, let's say, 250000 and Badger Dow gets a lot of steam and their marketing team starts crushing it and so on and so forth, you could see this project explode because then you're talking about a 40 times move if you want to get to a $40 billion market cap and compete with other DeFi spaces. So you could potentially see a 400 times move from Badger if you were to get in somewhere at the bottom and let this thing just absolutely annihilate the market once Bitcoin wants to pick up its pants from around its ankles. And I definitely keep an eye on Badger Dow. Now, if you're interested in buying Badger Dow, it is available in a lot of places binance uniswap gate poloniex one inch who plenty of places you can find it now in terms of projects under a hundred million dollar market cap this probably has one of the best opportunities and chances for success it's unique no one's doing it right now everyone kind of wrote bitcoin off as a DeFi project now you're finding someone that actually wants to take the value of bitcoin and move it from a storage of value to actually giving it use case with smart contracts and yielding and all sorts of other stuff so this could be a really big thing for bitcoin and badger dow if it does want to ride the wave then it goes back up to 60,000 for Bitcoin. You could see this thing hit its 10 times plus move. And let's say Bitcoin wants to 10 times, that would give this thing the opportunity to 100 times, 200 times, 300 times. And that about wraps up this video. If you didn't get a chance to before, please throw a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one.